Hi, YouTube. This is my first live screen. Um, I was supposed to be came on here earlier, but I got caught up in some things and um I have a prophetic word and so I don't know too much about the live screen. Um I'm learning and I see um a chat box. So I guess people will come in or something. I don't know. But um, I'm going to talk about um, adjusting to perilous times. Um, God has been giving me dreams and um, visions and things of that nature about what is going on. And so he wanted me to go live this particular time. Um, I hope you guys can hear me. Um, really good because I'm not sure. Um, but he wanted me to go live because normally I record um, what he has me to say. And so um, he put me on the spot because I was supposed to, just like I said, I was supposed to been came on and did it. But what he gave me... Um, I had a dream in November and November the night I had a three part dream and he want me to tell all three parts. Normally he would have me to take out some parts. Um, but this time he wants me to explain all three. And so I always test the spirit by the spirit with every word that comes out of my mouth. I'm here delivering out of obedience. Um, the dream that I had in November, um, I was like in Walmart and I looked on the shelf and I saw an album of pictures of kids. They was like missing. And then my dream switch and I saw a little girl standing in the door and she was crying and someone put their hand over her mouth and pulled down the curtains. The third part of the dream, I saw like green peels and it had the word flu on them. And they tried to give it to a little, little boy, but he refused it. And so the first part of the dream, God said, well, I talked about um, the kids' um, albums and pictures and stuff was on the shelf. Um, more kids would go missing and vanishing unknowingly. Um, trafficking, human trafficking, sex trafficking, um, kids being kidnapped and things like that. And so we want to be in prayer about that and um, make sure we are covering our children, praying over our children, um, make sure we know where they are and all of that. Um, part two of the dream was well, saw the little girl standing in the door. Um, I believe they are trying to put a muzzle on the children's mouths um, from the little girl crying out for help, maybe this this that's what I got out of it. And if you haven't visited my website, um, I will have it in the description box. But um visit my uh, website um at www.skyhouse.com. Um the word clone children are known for election i encourage you to read that because it really breaks it down and tell more about what it is that um this dream is saying and the third part um about the the little boy refusing to take the pill i want to believe they will have some type of pill out for the children to take i know of course the vaccine and so 
it be so much um so much debate about the um shot and stuff like that and people take it for their own reasons but me personally i don't think a child should be taking this stuff um we just really have to be careful with that type of stuff um because it can cause maybe some type of brain damage or something or or something concerning their heart or it can it can be anything and so December the 4th, I saw robots. I saw this in a dream. I saw robots on a assembly line, assembly line packing things up. Then I saw them, the dream switch, and I saw them packing up groceries. And so what God, he had me to go back to a poem that I wrote. I want to believe it was in April, but it was in 2020, a year ago. But he had me to go back and take parts out of out of the poem that I'm going to read. And I'm going to read what he gave me also on the 4th. He said that shortages of jobs would take place. Don't get comfortable working a nine to five. Use what you have in your hand to feed your family. The system is shifting into more control. And so um, I want to read the portion out of the poem Falling in Tombstones that I wrote. And it says, technology will lead the world. Start back using your paper and pen. Proof that you proof that you have it written. Things will be programmed by robots. Every move that's being made will be monitored. And so with that, um, we know that we are living in a technical world and doing during this time, technology is really ruling the world from all the gadgets and gadgets of what it has to offer. And so this robot is going to be in the form of new world order, um, leaving people without jobs, leaving people um, to... to um, well, basically, they will be doing everything for people. They will, it's like monitoring and controlling what it is that they can buy or what they can get. And I believe robots, it won't, because it shall be a assembly line as well. So maybe it would be where... Um, Robots will be other places as well, not only the um the grocery store or whatever. So it took me back to a dream I had November the 30th, where I saw a paper saying past law, past law, and I believe that. Some type of law will be passed that will go go believe that will go against many beliefs. I'm not sure what type of law will be passed. I just saw that in a dream, and um, God wanted me to share that as well. And so, let me see. December the 14th, God spoke saying. Countless people would choose suicide. And then he showed me in the upper vision a white robe being dipped in blood and a study and a study disc being sunk into the ground. He gave me Ephesians 6, 10 through 17 that I will be reading. But um with the suicide, um 
I believe people are going to be killing themselves or trying to kill themselves um, because of the mental anguish that is going on in their mind, the depression, uh, rejection, whatever it is that is causing them to lose their mind or causing them to hallucinate. They will they are going to try to take their lives. And so and this is the holiday season. People go into a heavy, heavy, heavy depression where they feel alone, um, especially if loved ones are dead. Um, they don't have, they're separated from their spouse, maybe, or they're going through um divorce or whatever the case may be it'd be heavy on them during this time because you know family's supposed to get together and be together during this time and so COVID kind of made it hard for family to stick together be together and and all of that and so that is a that is a major depression um part as well and so with the open vision that he showed me with the white robe being dipped in blood and the study this being something to the ground, that has something to do with the church. Um, the body of Christ um, is in a place where they are not doing what God is telling them to do there doing and send their own agendas um and they're going to have a lot of blood on their hands for not doing what god has called them to do or told them to do and so god had took me back to a word that i had um put out in 2020 of october a year ago and he had me to sum it up I didn't he didn't want me to read all of it but I summed it up and um the vision that I had June 20th um I saw a tilting boat and it was um it was sinking it was like it wasn't steady and God said, America is, sink is sinking in endless singing. The land is going underwater, one body at a time. More sudden deaths, more missing and dying children, more evictions and more shortages. A shaking is coming to America. Repent, America. You will be judged. And the inspired scripture that he gave me was Job 2 and 12 through 17, which I will read at the end. And so um, we want to make sure that we have a heart of repentance and repent for the known and repent for the unknown. Um, a lot of evilness is in the world because people are doing what they want to do. Um, they're not obeying God. They're doing what they feel is right. And so judgment is on the land. The shaking is here. Um, and God is not pleased. So God is, his heart is grieved because he's giving signs. He's giving warnings. And people are just doing what they want to do. And so moving along, um, August the 25th, I saw plants of food growing constantly in an open vision. And then God showed me, um, no, I'm sorry. Let's see. Yeah. 
And then he showed me um, again in the open vision, garden seeds. And uh, it was the night I saw rice being strained and magnets was coming out of it. <clears throat> and then November the 6th, I had a dream where I saw a meat company. They was like dipping hot dogs and like black tar and grinding it up. And so God took me back to um, a poem that I had wrote in 2020 of May and had me to take Parsha out of rebellious soul state at his feet. But before I read it, I would like to say that um, I don't think that it is good for um, for us to be processing this meat. Um, and my other vision, I had a joint. Well, I mean, in my other video in here and stay prepped, I talked about where I saw the boxes of meat. And how um, it looked like it was spoiled or something coming off the shelves. And so um, <clears throat> this meat is going bad. And so I believe that God is really trying to train our hearts and minds to get back into a natural state. Eating vegetables, eating fruits, um, watching our diets and making sure our temple clean. And so what he had me to take out of rebellious soul stay at his feet. Trust the journey. Get your affairs in order. Grow your own foods. Prepare like the ants in the summertime. And it will shape your winter days. Giving me Proverbs 30 and 25. Um, you don't have time to waste, my dear. Here with your ear. Here with your ear. And so, um, just be cautious and, and stock up on the things that you need. <clears throat> um, have a heart of repentance, be closer to God. And adjust to these perilous times. Things are not going back to normal. Um, we are in a place where we have to not get comfortable. But we have to adjust to what it is that God is doing. And so <clears throat> I pray that you take heed to this. Um I'm going to be doing live screens probably more with um, prophetic words. I'm not sure how ever the Holy Ghost lead me. That's the way that I will go. But I want to read um, these scriptures that God gave and um, close it up with this. Um, Ephesians 6. Um, 10 through 17, which, which talks about the whole armor of God. Finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against against power, against the root, uh, rulers of the darkness of this age against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having greeted your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having showed your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, take the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fairy dots of the wicked one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And so we want to make sure that we have the whole arm um, of God on um, 
because he is the one that protects us when the enemy try to come full force. And um and Joel 2 and 12, 12 through 17, a call to repentance. Um, now therefore say the Lord, turn to me with all your hearts, with fast fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. So rend your heart and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness, and he relents from doing harm. Who knows if he would turn and relent and leave a blessing behind him, a grain offering and a drink offering for the Lord your God. Though the trumpet in Zion consecrate a phase, call a sacred assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and nursing babes, let the bridegroom go out from his chamber and the bride from, from her dressing room. Let the priest who minister to the Lord weep between the porch and the altar. Let them say, spare your people, O Lord. And so um, that is all God gave me. I just want y'all to stay in preparation, especially for God's coming. And I know that we hear this all the time, but you don't want to get caught, caught with your work undone. You don't want to get caught slipping, doing the wrong things. So you want to um, make sure you are prepared for his coming and prepared for what's to come. And if you and if you isn't saved, um, give your life to Christ. Accept Jesus as, as your Lord and Savior. Um, time is running out. You know, people don't like to hear this, but this is the time that we are living in. And so we have to adjust to perilous times. And so that is all God gave me. Um, whenever he gave me something else, I'll be sure to share with you guys. I um, will be going live to again, probably to meet my subscribers. Uh, I really don't. I know a few of them, but I want to meet them and know where they're from and all of it. So it's going to be like getting to know me, um, more of me, because I do a lot of recordings. And so God is breaking me out of it. And um, whenever he releases me again, I'll be back on. I love you guys. Be blessed. Take heed, prepare, and make sure you stock up.